I don't enjoy this experience, but I have to say that I keep having this feeling of living before something, living before something horrible exactly. and that changes everything. And I, I don't mean the coronavirus. It doesn't qualify. It's not bad enough. I would say that the response to the coronavirus has been an absolute catastrophe, mm. um, but still not nearly on the scale that I'm talking about. Although what we have done to ourselves economically as a consequence of overreacting to this pandemic mm. makes what I'm talking about more likely. Now, I tend to imagine collapse e being economic, but the tr truth is that problems never develop in a vacuum and the consequences of very uh, a certain kind of collapse also have effects on other parts of society mm. is some of what i tried to express in in the novel so you know if we have an economic collapse it's going to be an, a collapse of everything else uh, and there is just a, there is definitely a kind of center not holding feeling in the Western institutions having no faith in themselves and also being distracted from what their core purposes are. And mm. that's my, one of my biggest problems with yeah. the obsession with diversity yeah. is that you've got companies and arms of government and, and certainly universities that have completely lost a grip on what their purpose is. Mm. I mean, they actually think that the, what their their prime uh, goal is to be diverse, <laughs> rather than some sort of public function, a diverse workforce to accomplish something else. <laughs> Great. Right? That and is this, is, yeah. this is this uh, is incredibly self destructive.